how's it going? Swatch with me. Crafty Croc Watercolor Brush Pens. Now there are 24 of these. This is the box that these wonderful colors came in. And I have, they actually have this part up here at the top. Closes. So they have three latches. Wow. And these are pretty snug pen holders here. So I took them out <laughs> because it would be uh, kind of frustrating for me to take one out at a time. I thought, just take them out, put them on the mat. Excuse me. So that's what I did. Okay. Oh, this does have a little uh, color, a little swatch for you to look at there. As you can see, there are, do I see five orange? Colors? Oh no, pink, red, it's really hard to tell. Some of these look exactly the same. I'm looking there and there. <laughs> That's why you keep them away from each other so we can't tell that there might be duplicates. So I'm just telling you that now there might be duplicates. Okay, there are like four oranges in here I found. And... Uh, one of these, oh, did I mix these up? I probably did. One of these, okay, this one, which looks like it's darker than this one, this one's lighter than this one. As a matter of fact, I think it's the same color as this one. This one, it looks like it's in the wrong place. No, it's right. <laughs> I have to laugh at that. Okay. So I'm going to try and do 12 down, 12 down, two columns of 12. All right, let's get going. This is pink. There are no color names on these. This is what they look like. There you are, watercolor brush pens. And I noticed that the bristles are coming off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's not good either. And they might be a tad dried a bit. So I'm just going to do this. Like that. And I'm going to take the little... Oh, it, this thing also, this set comes with this water brush pen and this water brush pen. So we have two different sizes. I think I'm zoomed in. I didn't even realize it. Oh... Brush it out. It leaves a line on the page. Oh, that's okay. Actually, these are done best if you take a spray bottle to them and just let them flow. Okay, I'm going to bring my baby wipe over here so I can wipe the brush a little. So that would, maybe that's hot pink or something. This is a dark pink. Oh yeah, I want to uh, put those opposite opposite ends so I don't get confused. Okay. <laughs> Not wowed by that, but I use these for watercolor and sea salt, and they do a great job. A great job. Okay. Red, maybe vermilion. Oh, that looks more orange, doesn't it? Wow, way orange. <laughs> orange. No, I think it's like a vermilion. It looks kind of look like redder than orange. And brushed out, that looks red. Hmm. Okay, the next one should be a darker red. Now that looks like it has a lot of color, but when I took it across the page, <laughs> no. It's not good for long distance coloring. It might be good for coloring books though, if you have, uh, if you're using thick enough paper, I guess. Now, Tammy, you got... <laughs> I'm looking up my brush tub here. 
Okay, I did that one. Four. This is number five, like a light orange, I guess. Not bad. Most like a golden rod, it looks like to me. Brushed out. Much lighter orange here. Wow. It's like almost no color. Is that number six? Uh, <laughs> I could have spaced these out a little more, I guess. If you need a nice, this might be like peach or something, maybe salmon-ish. Salmon-ish, isn't that a new, a new word? Okay, what was that, six? Like I said, I can always trim the paper down if I, what, that's another thing. <laughs> <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to put a, my brush pen, my water brush pen cap to separate from the, the first 12 from the second 12. Maybe I left it on there too long before swiping it with water. I don't know. Dark orange. Not too bad. These are pretty vibrant if they don't arrive dried out. Some customers are complaining that they're arriving dried out. These are budget pencils. Oh, you know, I have that page open on my computer right here. They are selling for right now for $16.09 for 24 watercolor brush pens. That is a vibrant. Oh, you know what? I think I put the wrong color <laughs> what am I? this is neon yellow by the way maybe this might constitute as oh man that highlighter <laughs> that's a highlighter color it has kind of a green tint to it so maybe I'll just leave it there after the the dark yellow here wow so I guess the one of the pinks, maybe this one might be neon. This one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, that it doesn't fit really in this batch, this color. And that's my opinion, but. Okay, we have this one and one more color, which what? will likely be the same color. That's what I said, the um, green I tried out on the paper. Not on the paper when I showed you, I demonstrated that the one that looks like it's going to be dark green, this one. Let me take the cap off and show you that uh, What did I tell you? That does <laughs> well, it's a little bit darker than this one, so that's good. I'm glad that's not a duplicate. I don't like getting duplicates in my sets. I've gotten that before with uh, watercolor watercolor markers. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was oh art DIY. Maybe. I'd like six or seven markers that were the same exact color it was like a hot pink 
And I thought, oh, totally unacceptable. I think they were watercolor markers. Okay, so now we're going to go with the second 12. It's like a spring green here. Did you see that? Uh, you see it? I can bring it down a little bit. Hey, I saw you. There's a little bug in here. I'm doing this swatching video on the same night that I'm doing my craftivity video. So it's the same bug that is flitting about. And I'm, I'm sorry. I can't do anything about it. I can't get it. I could turn on a certain fan that will attract it. <laughs> but that makes way too much noise. The last swatching video that I actually uploaded tonight, uh, the Derwent Inktense blocks that will already be on my channel when this one comes out. Uh, I started the video. I was like, oh, no, when I watched the video. This is Olive? Yeah. I watched the video and there was a horrible loud sound when I started, you know, hey, how's it going? And I thought, oh no, did I turn it off? And about nine minutes into the video, now for you it'll be like six minutes into the video, but nine minutes into the video, I finally remembered to turn it off. Fortunately, I was able to clip like three minutes of it. Okay, so we're on this one. Don't get sidetracked, Emmy so easy to do this looks like it's a little on the dry side a nice green look at that that's beautiful these colors actually aren't too bad when you uh, color a whole page though you're gonna <laughs> It's going to look, they're going to look kind of dried out. Pretty. A little loud there, I'm sorry. light blue so this is a teal color this is like a light sky blue or something the color does stick around after you color with the marker on the page but not too bad and it doesn't seem like all of them are like that these mm. Maybe the lighter the color, the less... No, no never mind. <laughs> Looking at the pinks. Never mind. Okay, this is a magenta. It looks like it's starting out almost like it's dried. Although I would call that dark pink, not magenta. I can hear the cartridge. Hear and feel the cartridge moving about in this barrel. Blue jeans, blue. Oh no. I put a color in the wrong place. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, maybe not. What do you think? That looks darker, right? That's weird. Never mind, because we had the green that, that I thought was the same color as the other one. Very close match. 
here a very close match. Okay, I'm gonna put that down. No, it is a little bit lighter than that one, but putting it down from marker to paper, it looked darker. Okay, get that out of the way. What was this? I did magenta. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did magenta before purple. I was not paying attention. Because I just got done doing my video, you know, the watercolor and sea salt. They have to stay like that now. <laughs> Tammy. I suppose there is a way to fix it. You know, I could cut these out and move that down. <laughs> if I wanted to, I could do that. No biggie, just a swatch card. Now, Tammy, you're going to be crooked here. Lopsided columns. I'm just going to go with it. Brown is that size light, light brown. I don't want to tell you what I, what color I think it is because <laughs> it's not pretty. Not a pretty color name. <laughs> Now the browns need some work. I don't like this brown. This is like a gray brown. Crafty Croc, you need a better brown here. This is, yes, like a gray brown. Look at that. That's weird. When am I going to use that color? Maybe old trees or something. Last but never least, black. Well, that's not too far. <laughs> that's not too far past that that side, the other side, the first column. Oh, this has like a green, green tint to it. This is green black. Interesting. Okay, I'm getting ready to show you the colors. Just write in the comments which of this set, which color would be your favorite color. And I'm sorry about the magenta. Although, in the screen pan on the screen monitor, I'm sorry, the field monitor, this color is looks purple. <laughs> so it fits. But I should have moved this to between these two colors. Not such a bad set. I mean, I've had worse budget sets. But I likely will not replace these or, or buy another set when these run totally dry. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have an artistic day. Bye.